the Kinsman Hurdle is next. Uh, this is a maiden hurdle, I think, and three and a quarter miles. So it's a long way, this maiden hurdle. The top one is Bragorn for Graham Clutterbuck, Camp Possession for B. Fotheringham, La Paz Midnight for Vinnie Gerard, Mercury Rising for Craig Beckwith, Rezwan Kalawi for Vinnie Gerard, Dan Silly Family for Alex Cherry, Fleeting Glimpse for B. Fotheringham, and Harling Jewels for David Robertson. So just eight then, and it's a bit of a long way for hurdlers, though, this, and away they go. Usually. That three miles is about the, about the top whack, isn't it? Three mile one sometimes, but not that many three and a quarter milers, and they're at the first of the 16 flights then. And they're pretty tightly packed, and it's a small field, so we should get good close up shots all the way around, I would think. And get a good close up look at your horse. And Dan Silly Fami is in the lead for Alex Cherry, with Mercury rising in second. Be Craig Beckwith, then La Paz Midnight for Vinnie Gerard. I think he's got his um, jumpers back. He didn't have any jumpers in the first part of the season. Over the second they go. And Harling Jules just about the back marker of David Robertson. They pass the big screen in and the winning post. And I'm not sure how many more times they've got to go around, but at least twice. And I think it probably will be twice, won't it? So Dan Silly Family then is in the lead by about three or four lengths to Mercury Rising in second and La Paz Midnight on the inside is third and the two pink jacketed horses on the new trainer B Fotheringham uh, welcome to the league and with a better look you'll get a couple of good placings this week and do better again next week and then we'll keep on doing better and better after that so that's what we like to see anyway so they get to the third and they're all safely over that one Dan City Family is a good four clear of Mercury Rising in second and Camp Possession in third. Oh, he's gone there. Mercury Rising has gone. You don't see that many fallers over the hurdles in the SO7 League. And that was a bit of a crushing fall there. So a bit of bad luck for Mercury Rising and Craig Beckwith as that one is out of the race. But Dan City Family is now six clear of Camp Possession in second. And then Harling Jules on the outside is just about third from La Paz Midnight on the inside in the green jacket as they make their way towards the next uh, I don't know what that is, is that the top of the rail or something? <laughs> I think it might be, it's, anyway they're <laughs> all safely over that one and Dan City Fami is in front I'm going to go my eyes are going to go funny if I keep looking at that keeps happening and then get over the next one and Dan City Fami is in front we're on camp position in second the Paz Midnight in third, Bragorn is fourth, Fleeting Glimpse, Harling Jewels, and finally Rezwan Kilawi. Inside the final two miles net. That looks like we might be doing some jockey cam action. And we're on the back of Fleeting Glimpse, one of the newcomers. Let's see how it takes this flight. And it jumped it well. To a normal shot again now, and Dan City Family still in the lead, but only by about four now to Camp Possession and Fleeting Glimpse, second and third. Then Bragorn is four, and Harling Jules is five, and then La Paz Midnight and Rizwen Kalani. So we've only got seven still in the race, and two trainers in it, what two? So a bit of luck, everybody will pick up some pick up some cash. And Dan City Family is the leader by about four to Camp Possession, second and Fleeting Glimpse, third. Then Harlan Jules is fourth, uh, La Paz Midnight, then Bragorn, and finally Rizwan Kilawi. So they get over number nine, and a mistake on the inside there by La Paz Midnight, seeing that one relegated to last, overtaken by his stable mate. And it's Dan City Family, past the winning post then with a circuit to go in the lead, as per last time, and we'll be hoping it's the same thing next time as well. And Dan Silly Fami is in the lead and clear of Camp Possession in second. Harling Jules is third and Fleeting Glimpse is four. Brigorn is five and La Paz Midnight is six. And Rezwan Kalawi is the back marker. With Dan Silly Fami pretty much led all the way. Not quite sure where you go with these after this. Three more, two. You'll have to drop down to three miles more than likely as they get over the next one. Harling Jules is second, Camp Possession is third, then Bragorn, 
as they get over number 11 of course what will be chasers in the making most of these after after all you think about it it's having a spin over hurdles this week but it's dancing the family in front Brigon certainly should be a chaser shouldn't he with a name like that Harling Jules is next then comes camp position and La Paz Midnight fleeting glimpse and finally Rizwan Kalawi he couldn't rule anything out at the moment and Dan City family is there to be shot at. The lead is as short as it's been throughout the race. Then it's just a little more than a length now to Harling Jules in second as they get over number 12. Then Bragorn is third. Camp Possession is fourth. Then La Paz Midnight Fleeting Glimpse and Rizwan Kalawi coming down towards the final four flight stand this is the fourth from home and Dan City family is still going well in the lead doesn't look like stopping Harling Jules is second Bragorn is third La Paz Midnight is now getting into overdrive on the outside and is really starting to ease up the ground camp possession is now of it Rizwan Kalami is trying to run on fleeting glimpse looks like it's probably given up the ghost now but it's Dan City family who's still three clear Dan City family three clear of La Paz Midnight Harling Jules is in third then comes Bragorn Rizwan Kalami and camp possession as they come down towards the final Final three flights and Dan City Fami skips over that one in the lead. He's going away well nicely now. He's still three clear. La Paz Midnight is second. Harling Jules is third. Brigorn for it. Surely between these. They're going to have to do something to get to this Dan City Fami. Now over the second last he goes. Gets over it nicely. Gets away from it well. Jumps it quicker than the three pursuers. And I can't see anything getting to this Dan City Fami at the moment. This could be another one for Alex Cherry as they race their hand towards the final flight. Looking like he's only got to jump this one to take a pretty easy win. And coming down towards this flight then Dan City family jockey just pushing him into it he's going to pop over I think he comes up towards this final flight now then and it's Dan Silly family skips over it nicely Bragorn is running on into second but it's going to be Dan Silly family that's going to take it on a short running Dan Silly family is the winner Bragorn is going to be second La Paz Midnight is third then Harlan Jules fourth camp possession fifth then Rizwan Kalami and fleeting glimpse was the last one to finish so Pretty much pillar to post for Dan Silly family. Probably the most experienced horse in the race as well, I would have thought. And a worthy winner. Let's take a look at the full list. It's Dan Silly family for Alex Cherry. The winner, Brigorn for Graham Clutterbuck was second. La Paz Midnight for Vinnie Gerard was third. Harling Jules for David Robertson fourth. And Camp Possession for B. Fotheringham was fifth. <laughs>